So the next song that actually you end up singing, For I Am Not Even Born, mm. that was written because I was actually in the car and I was listening to the radio. I'm trying to think at that time if it was called like WLIX, which is now Hope Radio. And they, I believe, I think it was Pastor Rich and was interviewing somebody um, who uh, was talking about partial birth abortion mm. and had mentioned how it was done and in which they drew a hole in the skull and they actually suck out the brain. Oh. And so then it, it allows them to crush the brain uh, to be able to take the baby out. I mean, it's just gross. It just um, unbelievable the way um, things are happening and, and as we know, Planned Parenthood in what they're doing, uh, you know, selling the body parts and things like that. I mean, you know, I was, I was actually left two days old in a bathroom in Korea. So the fact that I wasn't aborted, but, you know, so God saved me and that I was actually delivered, but abandoned, you know. And uh, so in ways that this, this song is also very special to me, and I'm hoping that um, one day people, I know that when people hear it, they cry because what the, the words, please let me live, don't let me die. First time I heard it to do it in the studio, just reading the words, I was a mess. Yeah. <laughs> I got a two-year-old nephew at home. I can't imagine my life without him. He's, he's just the most perfect thing. I don't know how anybody just couldn't want it. Right. I, it's, I, I don't have much words for it, honestly. I'm, uh, it's, it's, it's baffling people could just say, it's my life, it's my body. Well, it's, it's its body, too, whether it's a boy or a girl. It's their body, too. You can't tell them that they can't come out or and live. Right. You can't tell them that. They don't know. Right, <laughs> right. And, you know, like the baby saying, I do not know right from wrong, for I'm not even born. Mm -hmm. You are ending my life and doing wrong. Not even giving it a chance. Exactly. It's not know? okay. <laughs> right, right. And you know what? If they don't want to have the baby, then they should put up the baby for adoption. I'm adopted. You know, there are parents out there that are praying for babies. That they, yeah, they can't have them themselves. They right. So I so I'm, I'm so this song I'm going to have you sing because I just feel that it's really going to touch the hearts of many and and I'm praying that one day it'll actually go national because I do feel that that song this song is a very it's a great song, um, it's a great song that'll really make people think. Mm -hmm. Okay, so um, I'm going to have you sing for I'm not even born. Thanks. Please let me live, don't let me die If you know God, then do His will Give me a chance to breathe the air My Father in heaven has given me let me see the splendor of all the beautiful things that were created for me to see. Let my soul long for God. Let the Spirit of God come alive inside of me. Right now, I do not know right from wrong, for I am not even.
Job, Emmy. You. you know what I'm saying? I mean, you really touch the hearts of people with this song, and I'm sure many people, um, whether or not some maybe had gotten an abortion, that it's even going to affect them more. But the thing is, I'm hoping that this song will actually uh, af really affect the ones that are contemplating on having an abortion, and that they would choose to let the baby live. Because they have plenty of options. There are plenty of options. Oh yeah, there are. You know, and um, I know sometimes uh, people can tend, or young kids could tend to do this because of how they're going to be looked at, or the parents are going to be mad and things like that. Um, and I just think sometimes the parents need to do the right thing and not force the children to do something that they really don't even want to do, or that they shouldn't even do it even if they want to do. Just put the baby up for adoption again. I mean, you know, there are many people out there that really are um, in the need to want to love other children, you need to love their children that they would uh, adopt. Have you, had, have you ever had any friends that uh, was in, in a situation like that? Yes, actually, I had a couple. Actually, yeah, I had probably one or two. They would message me and ask me if I could drive them somewhere, and I said, where? They said, I need to go to Planned Parenthood. I, I, uh, I think something's wrong, and I said, well, I'm not taking you there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Right. If you, if you feel really the need to go there, you find your own way. I'm not taking you. Well, I'm good, sorry. Good. I'm glad <laughs> that you weren't supporting them no. in that way, you know. Um, 